What are we doing today? It's very exciting. I'm about to meet a new client abroad. And the only thing I know about her is that she wants to be able to ride a bike in her dress. <laughs> I'm excited to meet you. Yeah. I was really interested um, that you had said that you want to be able to ride a bike in your dress. We're planning to do the ceremony and then have a bike parade to the reception. And so we have a oh, tandem fun. bike. It's an old oh antique, my God, how cute. Um, Bob Jackson bike with a tall seat on the front and then a small seat in the back. Tell me about your vision for your dress. What I want is more of a really classy party dress than like a wedding gown. And I don't have much chest to hold up into a dress like that. So I would want something that, um, you know, has some sort of strap or off the shoulder and something that like shows off my body in a flattering way. So the fact that you're gonna ride your bike and it might be raining, mm -hmm. that really affects our, it will likely be raining. And I can throw on rain pants, I mean. I know that sounds really hideous. Does that sound hideous? Just the water itself can leave spots on certain fabrics. Because I can ruin a dress. You can ruin ride. your dress. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. We could meet up again in January. Okay. We'll go fabric shopping. Wednesday the 5th? Yeah, that works. Well, it was nice you. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. They're just cute. <laughs> They're so cute. This is the design we selected. Because it's so drapey and flowy, we need to have a fabric that's going to allow the drape and flow. So the fabric itself can't be too structured or too stiff. You've got this really feminine dress. You want it to read really feminine, right. like the whole thing to be like kind of dreamy. This isn't quite a white. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty. It's a silver. This has silver. a nice stretch. Do you like the stuff with a shine or do you like the stuff I kind of like the stuff with the shine. And I kind of like the shine too. It says a little more special occasion. As long as it's not like a chintzy. Oh, honey, we ain't doing chintzy. <laughs> oh, that's going to make you look sick. <laughs> I should bring up something really hideous and see what she says. Be like, bar white. Ooh, la la. That's pretty. I feel a little bit better about white on a you. Or white. Oh, interesting. Okay, let me bring this over to the mirror. It's giving off a lot of light, and I think the brighter colors put more bright onto your skin. I think I'll be really pretty. Okay, done. Two weeks. Okay. Say two weeks. Sounds good. And then I'll have something for you to put on your body. Okay. There's our front skirt. Laura, my client, she needs to ride a bike on her wedding. So we had to come up with something that would meet the bike needs, yet we still wanted her to look like a bride. And we need to make sure that we don't make something that wears her. We want her to wear her dress on her wedding day and people to notice her and to not just see this dress on a girl. And we want to make sure she also looks like a grown-up, so no ruffles or anything like that. So the concept we came up with was a double cowl dress. So there's a cowl in the front and a cowl in the back, which adds kind of a womanly sophistication. And at the same time, this cowl can kind of accentuate the bust a little bit and help give her some curves. And I'm sure there will be a surprise when we go to put it on her body for the first time. It'll be like, oh, that little thing isn't working quite right. We'll have to make some adjustments. And that's precisely why we make a muslin. It's testing the pattern. That looks, that looks about like what we want. It's gonna be so pretty when it's in her fabric. So, I have a dress made, and I'm just preparing you that the muslins always can scare people. I think you look really sexy in it, very sophisticated. You don't look so sure, what are your thoughts? I was just looking at the bottom of that hem. What I wanted to do is keep like the functionality of a short dress and then be able to kind of have this drama. I love the hemline. I think it's fabulous. I love it. I have never worn a dress that had this uh, cut on it. I like how it creeps down the leg. Well, you're the bride. That was, I was thinking, a short dress. You need some flair, some drama, That's something true. to make you feel like, whoo, it's me. I'm, it's just not any other day. And but it's as comfortable as it's a, a summer dress. 
This is gorgeous, I love it. We're gonna see how it goes. You know, there's always this much, you know, that we don't know and we change the fabric, but I think we've got a really, really good I idea. Like We're meeting with Laura tomorrow and she's gonna try on the dress and it's the first time she's gonna see her dress dress and I'm really excited to see her in it. She looks so pretty in the muslin version that I know this one's gonna be even better. I just am terrified of poking my finger and bleeding on the dress. <laughs> How does it feel? It looks good. Okay, are you ready? Oh, are you ready? I'm ready. Come on out. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. It's amazing. You look amazing. You it's look, a perfect fit. You look like a dream. It'll look pretty on a bike. It looks perfect. It looks like a wedding dress. It's a bang. I love it. It's fun yeah, to it's, really it's fun to see it come together. You know, it's so amazing. She comes in here and she's got her bike helmet on and her little bike clothes and she looks all cute in Portland. And then you put her in a fancy dress and my god, she looks like a woman and she shining and it's really amazing how when you put a really nice dress on that fits well on a woman how wow she sparkles <laughs>